belong to you. Hey, it's Nathan here with another Honest Review. Today we've got a bit of a YouTube first. We're going to be reviewing the LG 2783A monitor and finding out if this really is the best all-round monitor on the market today. So let's take a look around the back. So looking around the back of the monitor, we've got a USB-C connection, display port, two HDMI ports, two USB 3 enabled ports. However, noting that if you are displaying at the 4K 60 Hertz level, these will downgrade themselves to USB 2 speeds. We've also got an audio jack and the power button as well. You will also see here we have got a VESA enabled mount as well, which allows you to put this monitor on an external stand or arm, should you please. One of the cool features about this monitor is the stand is able to really easily move up and down, like so, with one hand, and it just stays in place. So straight out of the box, this option is selected, which is the best for LG HDR 4K. Everything looks great uh, on appearance. The icons are a little bit clear, clearer and bigger. However, what we find is that this isn't actually telling us what resolution is being displayed. And for that, a bit of a useful tip here for anyone using an Apple Mac and wanting to know this, if you head into About Mac System Report, into Graphics and Displays, you can see here under the LG HDR4K, this is only outputting at 920 by 1080, which is full HD 1080p. So heading back into the display settings, I mentioned earlier that I have the scaled selected. Now, normally if you just click this on an Apple Mac, it gives you a different perspective based on text. But again, handy hint for anyone with an Apple Mac. If you hold down the option key and press scaled, it brings up this secret hidden menu. You can see here that we can select resolution sizes all the way up to 4K, 3840 by 10160. Clicking it makes everything very small, unreasonable, and is not really the best workflow. For me, I find, and again, so small you can't really tell, this option, which is 10560 by 1440. This generally provides the best compromise between quality and resolution, whilst also giving me a lot of real estate here on the screen. I've loaded up here the, the Apple website, and as you can see, there is a lot of white space either side. Generally, I'd advise probably having two or three windows open on this screen because using this whole screen for just one web page or one application, you're not really putting it to full use. But as you can see, this is 60 Hertz refresh rate, which means very smooth scrolling, perhaps not as smooth as high refresh rates, but again, for general everyday use, you're not gonna be able to really tell the difference. But let's take a look at how the various settings can be applied directly from the LG monitor, depending on your preference. So underneath the LG monitor, there is a very small joystick and to enable it, it is a push up motion and you're presented with a couple of different options. So if we head over to picture mode, we can get some different picture modes. And you can see here that I had already selected it in reader mode, which I'll talk a bit about in a minute. So starting off with custom, which is the out of the box configuration that LG provides. We then have vivid HDR effect, which in my opinion, oversaturates everything. Reader, which is that much easier to read web page formatting that I find. It dims the brightness and also puts a slight yellow hue on everything. Cinema, which I think makes everything pop, but a bit too bright for my liking. FPS, RTS, color weakness, CBU, Rec 709, SMPTEC, I'm not actually sure what that means, and calibration one. Now within each of these settings, LG provides you with the option to customize them. So one thing that is a slight irritation about the joystick is enabling it makes a rather cheap click sound. And this is the master menu. If I want to power off, I have to click in and push up on the joystick. It would have been really great if LG had a power on or off button as well. So what don't I like about the monitor? First thing is it doesn't swivel left or right. For me, it was not a problem at all, but for some people they may like that feature. The next thing is the speakers, they're just really not that good. 
and yeah better off using your laptop or an external speakers if you would like that type of functionality so what do i love about this monitor the first thing is the screen quality every color pops it looks the text looks crisp the colors stand out everything you put on it just looks really beautiful the next thing is the finish of the monitor. Using this matte finish, it significantly reduces the glare. If you're like me and work next to the window, this is a really key point. Being able to move that monitor up and down is another standout feature of this monitor. With just one hand, you can move the monitor easily up and down and it stays in place. So you don't have to use some of those makeshift solutions like having to put a monitor on top of a set of books or something. And the next point is the monitor just looks really good. It's sleek design, it fits in in a variety of settings, it doesn't stand out, it looks great on the desk. So the bottom line, would I recommend buying this monitor? Yes. At its price point, it is the best all-round monitor you can get on the market today. It's got a variety of the connections out the back, from USB-C to HDMI, so it can connect to a variety of different devices. The screen quality is amazing. Everything looks crisp and clear on it, and it, it just works out of the box without having to really spend a lot of time configuring the color settings. If you're looking for something at the next level above, that's 5K territory, you're talking about a thousand pounds. Above that, that's 6K territory, Apple XDR monitor. So you're talking about 6,000 pounds. So you can see why a 400 pounds, this is a very attractive monitor to buy. Thanks so much for watching another Honest Review. If you've liked the video, hit the like button down below. If you've got any comments, leave them also down below. Hit the subscribe button to see more videos coming up. Take care, bye-bye.